Hi there, it's Rachel from Let's Get Crafty and uh, thank you so much for joining me today. Today we're going to make a Cricut card um, using uh, several different cartridges. So um, please stay with me and uh, learn how to make this card. Okay, so for today's project we are using three different Cricut cartridges. So the first cartridge we're using is the Paisley cartridge and the cut we're going to do from the Paisley cartridge is the um, butterfly. So you can access this um, from the umbrella button with the um, button tab or button key uh, selected and then you get this pretty bu um, butterfly. It um, This butterfly um, reminds me of the butterfly from the Cuddlebug series. Um, I never did purchase it even though I love butterflies but um, this actually looks a lot like it so um, I use my Cricut instead of buying something new. Um, then for the card itself we are going to be using the circle cut and um, I cut this out today on a blackout feature and then finally the other cut um, we're going to use is this um, accent number 17 here from the accent essentials cartridge so um, now I'll show you what the cuts look like so this card was cut out on this pattern paper from the DCW Butterflies and Bugs pack, I think. Um, cut out at five and a half. I actually used my expression to cut this out. Um, two of these size cards cut out um, on a full fit to page length at five and a half. So um, th that was the card. Then I cut out um, two butterflies. Now I used my Cricut Design Studio because I wanted to get this to um, fit the pieces of paper that I had in my scrap collection. And then you can see what I went ahead and did just to give it a little bit more texture is I ran the orange one through the Swiss Dots Cuddle Bug folder and then the pink one through the, um, I th think it's called Script or something like that, Cuddle Bug folder. And then here is the um, shape from the Accent Essentials cartridge. Now again, I just used Design Studio to cut it out on pattern paper. And you see that I actually purposely um, cut that off because I didn't want the whole piece on uh, onto the card. And then the final cartridge that we use today is the Beyond's Birth Beyond Birthdays um, card. And again, I use Cricut Design Studio to cut this out, so I don't have a size, but I cut out the Merci or Thank You um, from that cartridge. So I'm going to use all those um, items today to make my card. And you can see the colors that I chose for my embellishments were inspired by this pretty glitter stack paper. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I always like to add texture to the um, card. So today I'm going to do this by just inking the, the edges. And um, I'm just actually using a chalk ink. It's a Studio G um, dollar fifty stamp pad that I've picked up, I think, at my local scrapbooking store, Precious Memories, out in Langley, B.C. And... Um, that is all edged like that and then um, the idea is if the vision works is I'm going to put this like this and then I'm going to put the butterflies like that and then the merci is going to fit just down there like that Okay, so let's um, just assemble this card together now. So I'm just using my Zig um, two-way pen to glue everything down. It's been quite hot here where I am from, so uh, unfortunately some of the things seem to have dried up a little bit. Um, so I think we'll just put it on an angle like that. I'm hoping that that's going to look look okay. 
Okay, now I want the butterflies to look like they are popping off the picture or the card. So what I'm going to just do is I'm going to give the butterflies some texture by rolling them over my um, pencil, pen, uh, actually I don't even know what the official name for that is, and um, just to make it look like it's flying. I think I'm going to even actually fold this in half just to get some good texture. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing here with this one here. So fold it in half just to get the symmetry and then just roll the butterfly. And I guess if I wanted to give this a little more interest I could use chalk or anything like that but um, I just thought I don't want to take too, too much away from this pretty pattern paper. Um, so just adding the texture gave the butterflies a little bit more um, interest. So um, what I'm going to actually do with those is I'm going to stick them down just with glue. Well, I wonder if it would be better if I use pop dots. No, because the pop dots aren't going to stay in the card. So I'm just using my Scotch um, quick dry adhesive. I'm going to just glue that on there like so and position this one like that and then I'm just going to ah, and then I'm going to have this one over here like so and I just want to make sure I have enough room for my Merci so I think what I'm going to do is glue that down first so again just with these smaller cuts, I really like using the Zig Two-Way Glue pen. Um, it just makes it so much easier to get everything down where you need to get down. Oop. Okay, whoop. Everything's sticking to me tonight. Okay, so there's Merci. And then... Um, I'm just going to overlap the butterflies a little bit and uh, then I think that the card is the card is um, complete. Now I'm only thinking that this kind of looks empty here, so I'm just trying to think of what would be kind of a neat embellishment to, to put there. So I'm going to think about that for a minute. Okay, so what I went ahead and did is I cut out a, another butterfly um, from the Paisley cartridge on green, and again inspired from the colors here. And I'm just going to put it in this sort of bare, empty... Um, spot here. I think what would have been better in hindsight is if this butterfly was over a little bit more but um, the wonders of the video and doing this in front of an audience um, sometimes changes things because I'm not I'm looking at this project through the eyes of the camera versus the um, regular table. So um, here is a thank you card. Um, thank you so much for joining me today on um, Let's Get Crafty and uh, we'll see you next time. Take care.